मर्चेंट बैंक एंड सेवी गाइडलाइंस फॉर देम वेलकम टू मैनेजमेंट आई क्यू मर्चेंट बैंक डेफिनेशन यह एक कॉर्पोरेट सिक्योरिटीज को अंडर राइट करता है और क्लाइंट की कॉर्पोरेट क्लाइंट की कॉर्पोरेट मर्जर जैसे इशू पर गाइडलाइंस प्रोवाइड करता है मर्चेंट बैंकर्स एक बैंक एक फर्म एक कंपनी या यहाँ तक कि एक प्रोपराइटरी कंसर्न के रूप में भी हो सकता है या बेसिकली सर्विस बैंकिंग है जो नॉन फाइनेंशियल सर्विस प्रोवाइड करता है जैसे कि उन्हें प्रोवाइड करने के बजाय मनी और फंड की अरेंजमेंट करता है मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज रेगुलेशन बाय सेवी ऑन मर्चेंट बैंक इन दिस देर आर थ्री पॉइंट विच इज रिफॉर्म्स ऑफ द मर्चेंट बैंक विच इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इट इंक्लूड्स रिफॉर्म फॉर द मर्चेंट बैंकर देर विल बी ओनली वन इक्विटी मर्चेंट बैंकर इन दिस Second one is the merchant banker is allowed to perform underwriting activity for performing portfolio manager. The merchant banker has to seek separate registration from SEBI. Cannot undertake function of a non-banking financial company and confine himself only to capital market activities. Moving on to the next point of merchant banking regulation is regulation by SEBI for merchant banker. First point is how much merchant are perfectly competent or professionally competent for the merchant banking position considering how much the merchant are professionally competent second is whether they have educate capital or not third is track record experience and general reputation of merchant bank and the fourth point is quality of the staff employed by merchant banker their educacy and available infrastructure are taken into account After considering the above couple of SEBI will grant permission for the merchant banker to short financing. Condition by SEBI for merchant banker. So there are few condition given by SEBI for the merchant banker, which include first, SEBI give authorization for merchant banker to operate for only three years, which is per which with its permission merchant bank cannot operate. Second, minimum net worth merchant banking का one crore होना चाहिए. have to pay authorization annual and renewal fee regularly all issue of share must be merged by one authorized merchant banker responsibility of lead manager will clearly indicate by sebi sixth lead manager are responsible for allotment of service refund etc seventh merchant bank will submit to sebi all return and send report regarding the issue of shares Eight, a code of conduct for merchant bank will be given to SEBI, which has to be followed by them. And the last point is any violation by the merchant bank will lead to the re revocation of authorization by SEBI. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you like it.